Has someone ever told me, told you that you should never believe what, what you hear on the internet? Well, some things you can, like professional sites such as the Wikipedia. YouTube, it's not the best for that. Google, well, I guess you could believe them. They have all that stuff on it, but then people make sites full of things that are very real. I'm going to show you a video on YouTube that I just found. We're just looking around, found this video. It's about... Um, I don't remember, it's, what the hell did I just do? It's the reason NASA never returned to the moon. So I just watched a couple of seconds into it, and it's already sounding, yeah, it started, oops, it sounds pretty ridiculous already. So, I'm just going to show you why you should not always believe everything you see on the internet, because this is already what I've seen. This isn't even real. So I'm going to show you some of it, because it's like 27 minutes, so it's a little crazy. So let's get that to focus there. So let's see. And I can't really tell. There's a, some crazy animation in there, like, whoa. Which means, well, let's just pause it for a sec. Which you can already tell. They can edit in whatever they want to make you believe it. If they have crazy editing in the beginning or whatever. That's okay if it's like a video game sort of gameplay video. Because they can add in like words. Just describe whatever's happening. But like that documentary is like this. This isn't really a documentary. So there's some pictures. <laughs> has never fully answered the question, why have they never returned? Well, that's because it's basically just a barren rock floating around in space. There's nothing really to examine on it. The whole thing's the same. There's not really any water. They're on to the moon missions now because it has an atmosphere. They are hoping that beneath the surface at one of the poles there is actually frozen water. And hopefully, they think... That if they drilled underneath, if there is frozen water, if they drill underneath it, they would find water. That's why they're moving on to Mars, because they're hoping to move there, because it's just as a backup planet. If our planet is destroyed by a large asteroid or some sort of extreme disease... It's basically what I just said. I looked it up. Wikipedia. Okay. Now, if it was crawling with aliens, then why wouldn't you see them in the footage of the moon landing or pictures? And there is a thing you can get on your computer. I think it's called, um, I don't remember what it's called, but you can see, like, there's, like, sort of maps of the moon, I think, pictures of the moon. And sort of different planets and things from satellites and stuff. I think it might be called like Celestia or something. It's pretty cool. Let's check it out. But come on, if there were aliens that look like this, I think you'd probably notice it. Like, come on. There's no aliens crawling around. Let's be realistic. No, we would have heard about this. What did they say there? UFO researchers. Now, when you hear UFO, a lot of people think alien. Really, a UFO could be a rock flying through the air. A U UFO basically just means unidentified flying object. You're not going to call up a bunch of UFO researchers to research what's going on on the moon. There's like aliens, right? It's UFO. It's not alien researchers. Come on. Look at this. Do you see any aliens down there? No. None. Zero. And let's be realistic. Nazis engineered this? Okay. This is American space program. If Nazis engineered it, they'd probably load it with like, explosives and kill off all of them. Like, come on. I've never heard of the Nazis engineering any Apollo missions, 
ever in the stuff I've read or seen on TV, in the news, I've looked over on the Wikipedia or anything. Now, if you really heard these UFOs flying over the lunar surface like they just said, well, they said they were reporting it. That probably would have been the news, there would have been pictures of it. That's usually what happens when there's some big stuff going on in space. Everybody knows about it within a few days. Comets, asteroids, um, solar flares, uh, as, like, what, whatever it's called, where it's like a ton of like little meteors coming at Earth or whatever. Like, everyone knows about it, like, at least a week or a few days ahead of time. Of course, this was back a while ago, but you probably still would have heard about it, and you can look back on files and things. If you looked them up, you would probably find them, but apparently not, because, you know, they don't exist. And you would have seen pictures. Anomalies report was commissioned by NASA in the years. So I was just looking at that. Preceding the famous Apollo missions in the late 1960s. For more than three years, NASA financed several research scientists to collate a catalog of anomalous lights which had been reported on the lunar surface by leading astronomers and scientists. Now, that's pretty simple to figure out. Come on. There's a solar flare. It emits a certain uh, wavelength and has a different color. It reflects off the lunar surface, and from the distance, it can slightly change the color. It goes into a satellite. They get a picture of it. Or it goes to Earth. The picture, would, the color would change even more. And then it could turn into something else. Looks like some weird colored lights coming from the moon. It could simply just be a reflection. Like, well, you see the moon in the daytime on a bright day. Or why you see the moon at all. It's a giant mirror. Since the Elizabethan era. In see any moons? I mean... <laughs> see any moons? See any aliens back there? You see any ships? Nah. Research was published under the title Document nah. I'm gonna look that up. Of of We're gonna look that up. R277. Let's see... Not let's go NASA file. Let's go R two seven seven. Oh, look, let's see if it's here. Mm-hmm. One second. Well, apparently we have to use an app to look at this. See? Look at this. Look at this. This is NASA. This is book crap. They're lying to us. Those little buggers. Let's go back to YouTube. That looks like an old guy's head. A bald guy. UFOs included nearly 600 strange events which took place between the years 1540. I'd like to know what those strange events would be, sir. Maybe I'd believe you a little more. And 1967. The moon looks pretty cool. Um, wait a second there, guy. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, um, it's that French astronomer guy, right? Okay, in 19... Wait, yeah, he said in 1971. 
thought he was in the 60s, everyone. I was like, yeah, good luck with that. Because I don't think NASA was around when they... Uh, one second, I want to see if I can go back to that. See if I can... Crap. Around here. included a report from the brilliant French astronomer Jean Cassini, who reported seeing a white cloud hovering over the lunar surface in 1671. It was 1671. Okay, because NASA existed when.